Rick, we've had an email here from a bloke. I think you're going to respect him because I think you can tell straight away from his name mm. that he's the kind of guy you'd want to hang out with. Go on. I know how much you love fun people. Yeah. Well, Paul, and he's calling himself this, Paul the Party Animal Parker, he's emailed in. He's given himself that, that, that Let, moniker. Uh, right, I, I assume they're in sort of like quote marks, they're are in, they? They're in speech marks, yeah. Paul Brilliant. Party Animal Parker. And he's calling himself that. Yeah. That I, I can't wait. To, so I, what do you, when you picture him, what are you thinking? Millhouse. <laughs> right, OK. I, I, I think he looks like Millhouse from The Simpsons. Yeah. I, 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 he's I, working I, in sort of an IT department, maybe? Yeah, for possibly. organisation? Oh, I think he might still be at school. <laughs> OK, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think. And, and this is the vital question. Do you believe him to be a party animal? I believe him to be a party animal is as much as a man with a long scarf that is mum knitted him <laughs> to look like a Doctor Who can be a party animal, yeah. yes. Do you think that when people are organising parties at his school, they're thinking the first person they've got to get on the list and make sure he's guaranteed uh, as You've a You've got guest, to take Paul the party, party animal. Because I, I, I bet he's got millions of affectations. I bet he's the, he wants to be known as the one that carries around a biscuit tin. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, got, yeah. he's got the scarf. He's, he's the guy got... who only ever wears bowling shoes. <laughs> it's his thing. It's his thing. He's a little bit kooky, it's his <laughs> thing. And uh, it is fairly interesting what he sent in. He's found this on the web. A Serbian man who um, has invented a sex machine for women. <laughs> and he's appealing to Western women to test his device. Mm. It runs on a 390 volt electric engine, simulates sex, and has a seven and a half inch artificial penis. As soon as I read this, I was thinking... It's just imagining there going, oh, thanks for coming in, yeah, OK. So there's, uh, what's going to happen is there's a penis that's going to pop out from here and it's going gonna, it's gonna to have sex with you. I'm going to stand behind the machine. <laughs> I've got to stand behind here. There's a lot of dials and stuff. I don't want to bore you with. Well, why do you have to stand behind it? Just I can't. It's technical stuff, but I've got to be behind the machine. But there's no, there's no penis on the robot at the moment. It's just no, a hole. No, don't worry. <laughs> what will happen is I'll switch the machine on, I'll go behind, and then a penis will appear. Will it be like a metal-looking penis? It will be a robotic penis, but it will seem like it's a regular fleshy human penis. So you've made this sort of robotic like, penis look really realistic. It's really realistic. You will not be able to tell the difference between, say, the robot one and mine, for instance. You OK, well, you I don't want to see yours. No, 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 no there's absolutely not. Because not, I've not come around here to have sex with a person. <laughs> I know, you've I've, come around to test the machine. Yeah, I'm that is exactly what you're going to get. Okay, a well, piece you... of mechanical action. That... <laughs> 